Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on this exclusive tour of the Kool-Aid factory. This factory not only holds Kool-Aid, but the rich history of it. Today, I'll be taking you all around the building, but stopping at three main destinations. First, we'll take a look at the Hall of Fame, where we'll see who created the Kool-Aid and how they created it. And then I'll take you into the offices where all of our iconic advertising took place. And finally, we'll all head down to the lobby and talk about some fun and upcoming Kool-Aid events. Let's get this tour going. Follow me. This is the Hall of Fame. The first picture you'll see is of the man who started it all, Mr. Edmund E. Perkins. He was born in 1889 in Lewis, Iowa, but soon moved to Henley, Nebraska with his family. During his childhood, he was always he was always fascinated by kitchen chemistry, jello being some of his favorite stuff to work with. In 1920, he got married to a woman named Catherine, and together they decided to expand the Perkins Products Company. So they had to move to Hastings, Nebraska, which is another small town. They sold over 125 household items but they were just really your generic supplier of household goods. They sold body creams and medicines, nothing really related to food, as you would expect from his passions. It wasn't until he decided to dabble in some of his food chemistry business that he created one of his most notable products, fruit snack. It was a soft drink concentrate, according to an article on the website, Cleans Humanity. So it was this syrup that um, it was, it had six flavors of it, and it was stored in glass bottles. But the packaging actually sabotaged the product as it would easily break and leak, and it was just one big mess. So, going back to his food chemistry, chemistry background, he found a way to extract all of the liquid out of fruit snack and it resulted in a flavored powder. Now, these um, powders came in six flavors, grape, lemon lime, cherry, orange, strawberry, and raspberry. Both Mr. and Mrs. Perkins reflected on the newly created product, and they decided that it would just be more practical and appealing to the general public if they package them and put them in mini envelopes. So they did exactly that and gave it the name we all know today, Kool-Aid. All right, now let's head over to the advertising offices. In front of you now is where all the magic happened. This is the place that our um, advertising team would come up with the product designs and packaging. Cool. So originally the packaging was pretty plain. It was um, it was a tall glass of Kool-Aid with the icy logo. It wasn't until 1975 that they decided to get kind of creative with it and have spokespeople introduced. So they got groups like the Monkees and even Bugs Bunny. But the problem with that was. Um, having spokespeople that were so famous representing your product was that people would often remember the people, like the celebrities, instead of the actual product itself. So they had to sit down and think of a new mascot that they could create into their own unique representation of the product. Thanks to Harold Kachek and Alan Park, they created one of the most iconic food mascots there is. Any ideas of who it is? That's right. It's the Kool-Aid Man. <laughs> the Kool-Aid Man was different than any other spokesperson they could have had because of his bombastic personality. And he was the official mascot since 1975, so it's been about 44 years. He's also kind of turned into a celebrity himself as he starred in video games, commercials, and even music videos. And this rebranding turned out to be successful as 90% of children are able to recognize a Kool-Aid man and associate him with the brand. All right, sadly, that is our second class stop, so we'll have to head over to the lobby so I can talk to you about some fun and upcoming Kool-Aid events. 
notes. All right, for joining me today, you will be getting three vouchers. We have three events dedicated to Kool-Aid, and for joining me today, you will be getting admitted to them for free. The first one is for the Create Your Summer Tour. It's sponsored by Kool-Aid, and there's three DIY YouTubers going around the country to 20 cities. Now, during their live shows, they will be doing lots of, um, obviously, DIY crafts, and then they'll be doing some Q&A with the audience, so you'll be able to ask them anything. The second is for the Kool-Aid Classic Bicycle Tour. Now this, you can choose between 20 to 65 miles on your bike. It goes all around the city of Hastings, where Kool-Aid was born. And there's plenty of stops with um, Kool-Aid, so you can, you'll be satisfied. And then um, attendees are awarded with a t-shirt, um, free lunch, discounted tickets to the Hastings Museum, and a single packet of Kool-Aid. Now, the third event we have is probably what you'll be most excited it is Kool It Days. It's held in August this year in Hastings, and it's just it's just a festival dedicated to Kool Aid. Really. Um, it has the world's largest Kool Aid stand, the quickest Kool Aid drinking contest, and just other typical festival activities. There's th thousands of attendees, 35 events, and of course plenty of Kool Aid. So there's something for everybody. <coughs> All right, that concludes this tour. Thank you so much for coming. <coughs> Today we learned about the creator and the creation of Kool-Aid, which Ebony Perkins and how he extracted the liquid from Quick Smock to create such an iconic product. The advertising that took so many people to figure out <laughs> that we don't really need any spokespeople to showcase our product, but we created the Kool-Aid man who's He's so, and then all of the special, the special events like um, Create Your Own Summer Tour, um, Kool Aid Classic Bicycle Tour, and then Kool Aid Days. Right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you at Kool Aid Days in August, and don't forget to take a packet of Kool Aid on your way out. Thank you.